What about the station? That's shut down too. So there's no way in or out of the valley. They're obviously serious about this flu thing. Phil doesn't think it's flu at all. He said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. Well, there's nothing of any use on the radio. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Have you started? Yes, but to be honest, there's not really that much to discuss. This quarantine is in place, there's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's seen the Sullivan since yesterday and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Oh, man. Hasn't he had enough for one year? First Mary and now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Uh, Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Jeremy, put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's best we get everyone in one place for the time being. Good. I'll organise supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but well, let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rotor. Charlie, you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg? I'll head out into the valley and scoop up the isolated families and check in with Lizzie Graves at the camp. Now, has anyone seen or heard anything from Stephen Appleton or his wife? I couldn't stop it. I couldn't do anything. Stop, stop it. Calm down. I'll get back. It's in my head. Howard, wait. Ah! Father. Father, are you all right? It's my ankle. Oh, Jesus, Lord, I think it's broken. Uh, Howard, go and get help. There's no one left. No one's coming to help us. Please, Howard, fetch help. The light. They're in the light. I can see everyone in the light. Oh, God. Oh, my God. 